So the August stats are out and in a nutshell, we saw the lowest amount of transactions since 2031% below the 10 year norm. I'm Michael Luzes. I'm a realtor in the Greater Toronto Area. And if you're ever curious on what exactly has been happening up to date on the ground level of Toronto real estate, click on that first link in the description down below. So here's the Greater Toronto Area market stats. And this is for the GTA as a whole. Prices are basically flat year over year. Amount of listings up 16.5% from the year before and total number of sales down 5% for the lowest August that we have seen since the year 2000, just under 5,300 sales. Months of inventory hovering around that three months of inventory and condo sales up about 7% from the year prior and down 1% on a price standpoint. If you look at Toronto proper, average price down about two and a half percent. Active listings are up 15.4% and number of sales flat around 1,890. Just over three months of inventory across the city. Condo sale price down 1.7% and condo sales up 6%. Now if we check out the monthly sales data, this tells a pretty interesting story of where things were a year ago to where they are today. Active listings last year, just over 13,000. And this year around 15,500. Number of sales, just over 5,600 in August, 2022. And this August, the lowest since the year 2000, under 5,300 sales. Now I will point out that in January and December of 2022 and 2023 respectively, we had around 3,100 sales. So we're still not quite at that low of a level for the month of August, but kind of in and around where things were in July and well below where things were from March, April, and May of this year. Now months of inventory has come back to around that three months of inventory. So if every property outstanding on the market was to sell, it would take about three months for them to all sell. Average price down about 40,000 from the month of July to about 1,080,000 and about $100,000 less than where things were at in June. Average days on market at 20, which brings us back to kind of where things were in February, March territory. Here's the average benchmark price over time. And I went all the way back to January, 2022 to see where things were and where things are now. So on a single family home in January, 2022, the average price for Greater Toronto area around 1.5 million. That dropped to about 1.265 in January, 2023. And up about $100,000 from there in August. For townhouses, just under 890,000. And this got a little wonky here, that's 845,000. For condos, 717,000 in January, 2022. And 717,600 in August of 2023. If you look at Toronto proper, average sale price in January, 2022 for the benchmark was just over 1.7. And in August, 2023, we're looking at around 1.6. That's down from June, 2023 of 1.6. 0.65. If we look at townhouses, their high and peak was in May of 2022 at 995. And right now we're definitely down from July and we're in the 800. We're definitely down from July and in the high 800s here. When it comes to condos, average condo price for Toronto, 745,000. And for August, 2023, we're at 750,000. So a bit above where things were in January, 22, but not quite where things were in the peak of April, 2022. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the stats and if it's what you expected and what you think is going to continue through the fall market. I'm Michael Luzes. Thanks for watching.